We continue to provide a selection of photographs about the Second World War. Every moment of the war was stopped for us by someone's hand. Regardless of whether it was a heroic, sincere and fair hand, or on the contrary it was the hand of a villain confident in his impunity, all this is equally important to us. Because every photo is a fact of a particular event which helps us to feel the spirit and dynamics of that time. So let's begin. Here German soldiers lead the gypsies out of the barn where they were apparently hiding. Like the Jews, the gypsies were declared an inferior race hostile to the Aryans. The Nazis mercilessly dealt with the gypsies. They carried out mass executions and sent them to concentration camps where they were subjected to various experiments and abuse. The genocide of the Roma people was as massive as the genocide of Jews and other peoples. It's just that there were significantly fewer gypsies. Accusations of genocide of Roma were heard at the Nuremberg trials, and the mass extermination of these nomadic people became one of the many accusations of Hitler's Nazism. Here is the moment the diving German Jew 87 Stuka bomber fell. Here is testing of the German 37mm Flak 18 anti-aircraft gun in a Barrow tunnel. Here Japanese soldiers cut off the heads of Chinese civilians. And this is China. In July 1937, the Japanese military started a war in Southeast Asia, committing aggression against the Republic of China. The Japanese army committed no less monstrous atrocities than Nazi Germany with its Wehrmacht and SS. The favorite pastime of Japanese soldiers and officers was to cut off the heads of the Chinese. They did it to everyone. Prisoners of war, civilians, women and children. USSR, China, Vietnam, North Korea. In all these countries, trials were held of generals and officers of the Japanese army guilty of cruelty to civilians. In the USSR, the first to appear before the court were generals and officers from Special Detachment 731 who were captured by the Red Army. Here is Chinese Red Army on the march in Shanxi province. The Chinese communists had to fight on two fronts. On the one hand, they had to resist the Kuomintang regime led by Chiang Kai-shek on the other to fight Japanese aggression. The Sino-Japanese War began before World War II, but became an integral part of World War II, and it was here in China that this war ended. The USSR provided great assistance and support to the Chinese Communists and the Chinese Red Army. They provided them with weapons, money, military specialists, and advisors. Here are Japanese schoolgirls practicing using the Naginata while awaiting Allied landings. Japan 1944. Here is a surrendered Wehrmacht surgeon surrounded by residents of liberated Paris, August 1944. Here is Soviet heavy tank KV-2 and the Germans around it. The Soviet heavy tank KV-2 went into production in 1939 and was produced until 1941. In total, 334 of these vehicles were produced. The tank managed to fight in the Soviet-Finnish war, where in fact it was tested and proved itself well. Most of these tanks were in service with units of the Western Military District. And at the beginning of the war, at the Western Front, under the command of General of the Army Pavlov. In July 1941, Pavlov was removed from office accused of treason and executed by decision of a military tribunal. Historians are still arguing whether Pavlov was a traitor or not. But practically everyone agrees on one thing. General Pavlov not only did not prepare the main military district for defense, 
but also did everything to make the task easier for the Germans. The tanks were inoperative due to the extensive maintenance. The shells were removed, the oil was drained from the engines and all components, the filters were removed and so on. When the war began, many tanks did not even have time to start and drive out of the farm. Therefore, many new tanks that just entered the army went to the Germans as easy trophies. Here is a haircut of a French collaborator. After liberation from the Nazi occupation in many European countries, including France, collaborators, especially women, were severely persecuted. Although the guilt of most of them was only that they lived with Germans or provided intimate services. Such women having their hair cut could have a swastika drawn on their forehead or face. They were stripped naked or in their underwear led on ropes like dogs through the streets subjected to various humiliations. Here are concentration camp guards or police taking water treatments after visiting a local brothel. Here is a soldier of the 33rd SS Division Charlemagne, Berlin, April 1945. Who only did not take part in defense of Berlin and the Reichstag in 1945? The photo shows an exhausted, emaciated soldier with the look of a doomed fanatic. He understands that everything is already over, a few more weeks or even days, and he will no longer be there. But he has already accepted his fate. He will fight to the last. The burden of the crimes of the SS regime was too great, too much blood and anger. In the hands of the SS men is a strong wear assault rifle of the 1944 model, the top notch of German small arms engineering. Here we can see baking bread in the 150th Field Bakery of the 168th Infantry Division under the command of Lieutenant Technician Ivan Mikhailovich Tolkachov the Leningrad Front. Kolya and Lonia Danilichev cook food in the ashes of their house. The village of Srednya Gostomol Kromsky District, Orel Region, August 1943. Here British sappers are learning to clear mines in complete darkness, 1943. The girl in this photo is an employee of the American company Electric Boat Company, which produced submarines. The company supplied the American and British fleets with 74 submarines and 400 destroyers. During World War II, this photo was classified and released by the Finnish Ministry of Defense only in 2006. Finnish soldier shoots a Soviet intelligence officer, November 1942, Eastern Karelia. And here, are Soviet soldiers are trained in shooting and handling PTRD-41. Here we can see the crew and contents of the American light tank M3 Stewart. Here are soldiers of the 2nd U.S. Marine Division leading a Japanese prisoner on Tarawa Atoll, November 1943. 
Here is a camouflage of German self-propelled artillery mount Sturmgeschütz 3. Here British artillerymen are on alert during a play rehearsal. And here are German doctors bandaging a wounded British officer, 1941. Here we can see German commanders confer at the command post near Stalingrad, autumn 1942. Here is the place of surrender of German soldiers, abandoned equipment and ammunition. Germany, May 1945. Here is Captain Nieves Fernandez, one of the Filipino guerrilla leaders, shows a U.S. Army private how she used bladed weapons against Japanese soldiers. Philippines, November 1944. Here is a German assault gun stuck 3 knocked out on the Western Front, Italy, 1944. Here French children play on the beach in Normandy, summer 1944. 